All right, so I have here in front of me yet another way to put together our LED circuit. This time, though, we're using the Barnabas noggin. So as you can see, I don't have the batteries here anymore. Uh, our Barnabas noggin is going to essentially be both of the batteries for this circuit. So just to very briefly go over how this circuit is put together, there is a pin that says 5 volts on the Barnabas noggin, and I have a red wire attached to that from there all the way over to this corner of our breadboard which is then on the same row as the long leg of the LED. Remember, red goes with the long leg of the LED. And then I have on the other side, I have the short leg of the LED and this black wire, one end of it attached on the same row. And that black wire ends up going all the way back to the Barnabas noggin into one of the pins that says ground or G and D. So there's two pins that say G and D. You can choose either one of them. They'll both work. So the Barnabas noggin actually provides more power than our two batteries did before. Those two batteries together provided three volts of power to the circuit. This Barnabas noggin will provide five volts of power to the circuit. So let's see what happens when I plug it in and actually give that power to the circuit. So as you can see, our LED is very bright, much brighter than it was before. So as it turns out, the LED wants only about three volts going through it and putting more can actually damage the LED as well as make it brighter. So we want to avoid breaking the LED. So what we need to do is we need to introduce the idea of resistance into the circuit. So I have here a resistor. It has two legs and then it has several colored bands on it, which tell you uh, what kind of resistor it is, how many ohms it, it provides. So this resistor is a 10,000 ohm resistor. Uh, you will be using for your LEDs a 7, or I'm sorry, a 4.7 thousand ohm resistor. So for you and your kits, it's going to be the resistor that has a red band on it. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to alter my circle, uh, I'm sorry, my circuit slightly. I'm going to take one end of the red wire out, the one attached on the breadboard. I'm going to put it a few rows down. Now, it doesn't matter how many rows down it is. Uh, I think I put it on the sixth row. And I'm going to take the resistor and I'm going to put one leg on the same row as that red wire. And I'm going to put the other leg right where the red wire was before on the same row as that LED. So let's go ahead and plug this back in and see what difference that makes. So as you can see, our LED is still lit up, but it's a lot dimmer than it was before. So we've effectively used the resistor to limit the amount of current that's in our circuit. 